Hi, I'm Steve Copnell from Alec Mowers and today I'm going to show you how to remove the cartridge from the Liberty 30 or the Liberty 35 cylinder mower. So first we're going to remove the side guard and to do that we need the 5mm Allen key which was provided with the machine. On here there is uh, four fixings so if we slacken those we can then remove the side guard. These are captive fixings as well, so there's no risk of losing those uh, when putting the, uh, the cover down. So on the Liberty 3035, and there is a cylinder drive belt, which we will need to remove before we can take the cartridge out of the machine. So midway adjuster, there is a uh, nylock, M8 nylock on there, which we need to just slacken with a 13 millimeter spanner. So if we slacken the nylock, I can then move the adjuster within the slot just to take off the tension from the belt. That then allows me just to remove the belt from the top and bottom pulley. The bottom pulley, which is attached to the, uh, the cylinder shaft, uh, is what drives the, the cylinder. I need to remove that so I can take the cartridge out. There are a couple of ways of doing this. So I can use the 5mm Allen key and remove each fixing from the pulley or I can use a, um, the open end of a spanner, locate that over the fixings like so and then using a piece of wood or a piece of rubber like a handle from a, a hammer, position that into the cylinder just to stop it from rotating and then Turn the pulley in a clockwise rotation because it's a left hand thread. I can then unscrew the whole pulley assembly rather than taking that assembly apart. So it makes it a much easier and simpler process. And then just remove the piece of wood. Take the spacer off as well. That will need to go back on before the the coupling goes back uh, together. And then there are two fixings each side of the cartridge. Again, just using the 5mm Allen key. Just keep the spring washer on the, uh, the screws. It's best just to wear gloves as well uh, when working around the cylinder because the, the, the edges can be sharp. So once you've removed the two screws, we can then remove the cartridge from the mower and then we can interchange that with either the scarifier uh, or removing the cartridge for servicing. So to reinstate our cartridge, uh, you'll notice there is a rail where the cartridge uh, sits on like a guide and then the drive shaft goes through the cutout on the chassis and then that just slots into position. Secure the cartridge again with the two screws. Before tightening them just make sure both screws are uh, inserted into the threads first. We can then put the spacer back onto the drive shaft against the bearing and then we can thread our assembly back on. So anti-clockwise we'll put that thread back on. Again just with our piece of wood if we locate that into the cylinder just to stop that rotating. And then I can use the open ended spanner just to tighten that thread up. I can
can then position the, the belt over the top pulley. On the inside of the tensioner pulley. And then over the bottom. And using the tensioner, want about uh, 10 millimetres of deflection on the belt and the midway point. And then I can just tighten that M8 fixing up to secure that. Over time, these belts will begin to stretch as well, so it's just important just to check on a, a monthly basis just the, the, the tensions of the belts. And then we can make adjustments on the midway. So now we've fitted the belt and we've tensioned uh, the midway adjuster. We can then reinstate the side panel, ready, ready for mowing.